So you might be wondering why I'm going to talk about canter and I'm not actually sitting on Douglas. Well, that's because we need to think about hip flexors and pelvis. Your hip flexor is a big muscle that goes kind of from here all the way up to sort of that sort of height on your body, okay, right in the middle. So it's, it's that big, long muscle. And what happens is one hip flexor can become tighter than the other. So my right hip flexor is always, always tighter than my left one. Oddly enough, because of a damaged shoulder and now a damaged elbow, but anyway. So when you're in canter on the horse, and the reason why horses get confused, is if your pelvis, if you're not paying attention to your hip flexors, and if your pelvis isn't leading with the horse's uh, lead, you cause confusion. So when I'm in left lead canter, you often get told to put your leg back, okay? What I want you to think about is it's the whole kind of pelvis thigh comes back. Now, can you see that's got one leg at the girth, one leg back behind the girth, yeah? That is me in left lead canter. That side of my pelvis is now going to be able to lead with the horse's canter. This is staying forward. In the canter, this is your responsibility, this, well, in everything, this is your responsibility, this belongs to the horse. But that is going to set you up into a nice left lead canter. Right lead canter, exactly the same. So if you were going to do a lead change across the school, you would sit up and you would actively think about that kind of advancement of the right side of your pelvis, which then brings the left side back. And again, you're now leading with the same side as the horse. Yeah, You are asking for a right lead canter. So being aware of your, your hip flexor and the tightness there and thinking about that movement coming from here, coming from here, coming from here, because it just puts it, it's easier on the horse, my feet are stuck to the floor. But it is, it's that you, know, you need to lead with the same side as the horse. Now, because the hip flex is such a big, powerful muscle that affects this bit, so I'm feeling at the minute, I'm like, God, I can't move, because <laughs> I've been doing a lot. So I need to stretch my hip flexors. So it is, canter, get on the floor. Canter like you did when you were a kid. Da -da -da -da. Okay, so literally skip, and then you can do your flying changes and skip. So it is, get off the horse, get on the floor, practice your skipping and your leading, being able to keep rib cage and upper body still, but honestly, that will make huge difference to your canter. If your hip flex is tight and you're in right lead already and you're trying to ask the horse for left just by wiggling that lower leg back, you're still in right lead canter. This is just kind of annoying the horse because it's going, well, you're asking me for right, mate. So think about all of the pelvis and the leg comes back, okay, to ask for your, your, your strike off, and then you're already in a nice position. <laughs>